Hey everyone, so this is our part two to how to use our Passion Planner digital files in the app NoteShelf. Um, this is specifically going to be covering how to use NoteShelf um, on an Android tablet, more specifically the Samsung Tab S7. I'll be covering general navigation, how to use the tools in NoteShelf, how to add our digital stickers, and then lastly, how to add more planner pages into your planner. So I have NoteShelf open here. And this is kind of the home page that opens up. All you really need to know about this is this is where you would import your planner. If you need help with importing your planner, we do have a tutorial specifically for that on our IGTV or our YouTube channel, how to import your passion planner digital files. Some other little things to note. So let's see if I tap on this icon here, this will pop out. This is your settings icon. So you'll tap on that. Um, the first couple things that you want to do, you want to turn on your stylus. So tap on stylus, click enable. You can turn on pressure sensitivity. This just basically means that the harder you press on your screen, the thicker the line will be when you're writing and the lighter, the thinner it will be. I'm going to go back now. Okay. If you want to back up your files, you can click on auto backup and then you can choose which cloud-based service you want to back it up on. Okay, so this is gonna be important when I talk about navigation in a second. Just know that if you click advanced, you're going to want to disable hyperlinks when writing. I'm not gonna do that yet just to show you what it will look like if you don't turn that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the planner. So, okay, so first I'm gonna talk about navigating our planner inside of NoteShelf. So um, some basic stuff. If you want to flip between pages, you would just swipe left or right. If you want to zoom in or out, you would just take two fingers on your screen and expand them to zoom in and then pinch them together to zoom out. Now let's talk about the hyperlinks because there are hyperlinks all throughout the planner. All of these tabs here are hyperlinked, meaning that when you tap on them, they will take you to a specific section of the planner. So you may be thinking, how do I activate these hyperlinks? Okay, so by default, um, you can use any of these tools really to activate them. So say I'm in my pen tool and I tap on the August tab here, it will take me to that August monthly layout. Side note, if you want to learn more about all the different hyperlinks, I would check out um, our walkthrough videos. Again, they are on IGTV and YouTube. And we kind of walk through each different planner, the daily undated, the weekly um, annual dated, and then the weekly annual undated planner. Um, so yeah, you can use either tool, even the highlighter tool to just tap take you to that link. Um, but this can be an issue, especially with the weekly planners, because like in this monthly layout, each of these weeks is hyperlinked, meaning um, if I wanted to get to my November, um, this first week of November weekly layout, I would tap on it and it will take me there. But let's say I'm in one of those monthly layouts and erase this. And let's say I'm just trying to write on um, these days here and I accidentally just tap it, it's going to click on that hyperlink. So I like to turn off um, that function. And to do that, you would go back to this homepage. Um, if that's not open, you would tap on here, click on this little gear icon and then click on advance. And you wanna make sure to turn on disable hyperlinks when writing. So that now, let's see if I'm using my pen tool and I tap, nothing happens. I can use my highlighter tool, my eraser tool. Um, the only time it's gonna activate hyperlinks now is when you're using these tools. So the text tool, the lasso tool, or this one. Um, this is basically to turn on read only mode or view mode. Um, this is what I prefer to use just so that I don't get too confused. Now I can click on all the different hyperlinks. Now, this just means that you're going to need to be careful though, when you are using the text or lasso tool um, on things that have hyperlinks on them. For example, if I wanted to type here, I would need to tap here, but it will activate the hyperlink. So if you wanted to type on something that's hyperlinked, I would first type outside of it and then just move it into those hyperlinked areas. Same with if you need to use some Thing involving the lasso tool, I would try to use it outside of the hyperlinked areas and then move it inside. Okay, so 
If you don't wanna flip through all the different pages or tap on the hyperlinks, you can also see each and every page as a thumbnail by tapping over here on this little pages icon. And here are all of your pages as thumbnails. So the one you're currently on will be highlighted in blue. And I'll talk a little bit more th about this when I'm talking about how to add planner pages. But this is where you would also bookmark pages. And then to find them later, you would just tap on here, click on bookmark. This comes in handy, especially with the daily or any of the undated planners, if you need to remember which layout you're on. I like to bookmark them so I could find them later here. To go back, you would tap on this, click on all pages. This is also where you would duplicate pages. You would click on edit. And let's say I wanted to, oops, let's duplicate the page that I'm on. I would click on edit. I would tap on that page, click duplicate. Now you can duplicate pages as much as you like in the planner. We do not recommend deleting any of the original pages as this can cause them to no longer work. So you just click duplicate page. So I'm gonna exit out of this and that covers navigating around the app. You've opened up your planner and you're ready to start writing in it. So this first tool I'm gonna talk about is the pen tool. So once it's selected, I'll tap on it again to bring up these different settings. So first of all, you wanna choose your different pen sizes here. And then you have three pens to choose from, which I will show you right now what they look like. So this is the first pen. Here's the second pen a little bit more angular and then here's the last pen this is the one that I prefer to use because even though it looks similar to this one this one's still a bit more sharp okay going back here um, there are preset colors for you to choose from down here and you would just um, basically drag this around to see the different colors and if you want to add colors you'd click on edit click on this plus symbol and then you can choose colors here by dragging and then you can choose different shades over here. If you already know the hex code of the color you wanna use, you would just type it in right here. And then once that's done, we're gonna click on add and go back. And now my added color is over here. If you ever want to delete some of these, you would click on the trash icon and then just tap on them. Okay, so if there is a pen color and width and pen type that you want to use a lot of the times. Um, I would favorite it, so let's say it's the black one, this pen, and this size. So to favorite it, I would just tap on this heart symbol here. And then, let's see. If I go to my favorites tab here, it will appear right here. If I just want my favorites toolbar to kind of be showing whenever I need it to be, I would just tap on this and it will appear right here. That way I can switch between my different pens easily. Okay, so next up is this highlighter tool. So I'm gonna tap on it and tap on it again. And then it's the same thing. You can choose the different sizes here. There are two different highlighters. So this one is a little bit more circular or curved. Let me choose a smaller size so you can see. It looks like that. Um, and this one is a little bit more square. You can choose the different colors down here. And then, I don't know if you noticed, but these lines aren't really straight. If you want them to be straight, you would tap on this tools, um, or this, sorry. <laughs> you would tap on this shape icon over here. And so that when I draw something, it will make it into a straight line. You can also make different shapes with it. It will automatically just turn it into whatever shape it thinks you're trying to write. And this goes um, for the pen tool as well. That's on, I can just do this. This also comes in handy when I want a time block. Okay, just make sure to turn that off when you don't want to use that. Again, if you want to favorites um, one of these highlighter settings, let's say I want to use, I like to use this um, kind of curved one over here and maybe this color. I would click on the heart little icon there and it will appear in my favorites toolbar. All right, next up is your eraser tool. So I'm gonna tap on it again. You can choose the different sizes here. If you wanna clear the entire page, you can tap on clear page. Um, I like to have this toggled on, erase entire stroke, because if it's off, um, it will just erase 
a little bit at a time, which is nice if you're trying to erase like and be more precise. But if I turn this on, I only have to tap a part of a stroke and it will erase the entire thing. Um, you can turn on erase highlighter only. Say I have a bunch of different things highlighted, but I wanna change the highlighter color. I would tap on this, turn erase highlighter only, and then it won't erase my actual writing. Just remember again to turn that off. Um, I wanna mention this because I touched it a while ago. This is your undo button, so this will undo your last action. And then to redo, you would just long press on it and then click redo. Okay, next up is your text tool. So you're gonna tap on it and then wherever you want to write or type um, on your screen, you would just tap, double tap, and then you can choose a different font. Oops, over here. You can change the font size. Over here. And change the colors and add colors as well. You can bold, italicize, or underline here, and then you can choose the alignment of your text over here. Okay, next up is your lasso tool. So if you wanted to move this handwriting, you would just draw a circle around it. It's now selected, and then you could just drag it to move it. You could also tap on the selected area. You could take a screenshot of it, this would mean that it's basically copying not only the text, but anything that's behind it as well. Like a little screenshot. You can cut it and then to paste, you could either long press on the screen and click paste, or you could also tap on, oops, and cut this. You can tap on the lasso tool twice and then click paste. If you want to delete this, or let's say you wanted to delete multiple things at once, let's say both of these, circle it, I could click delete. I could also resize, so select these, um, let's click resize, and then I would drag on these corners to resize it. I could change the color. I can convert this to text. Um, I can choose to bring to front or send backward. Um, this comes in handy if you're layering, let's say, their handwriting or stickers or anything like that, um, and you want one of them to be in the background, um, make sure to tap on the selected area and click send to back. Okay, next up, we've already talked about this. This is to just view and to click on your hyperlinks. This is your shapes tool, so let's get into adding photos, so you would tap on this plus symbol here, and then if you tap on this middle little icon, you can add a photo straight from your camera, your photo library. Um, this is pretty cool, you can record audio, so let's say you're in class or you have a work meeting and you wanna record it, you can just tap on record audio. Hello, testing, testing. Click on stop. And then play it from there. You also have a media library here. So let's say you don't really have stickers, but you do want to add images into your planner. You can tap on that and then you can search here. Let's say you want to search for fall. Then you can just tap on these and add them straight into your planner. So you can edit them if you need to. You can crop them rectangularly or freehand. And then click done. You can resize it again by dragging these corners. Okay, so speaking of adding images, let's talk about adding our Passion Planner digital stickers onto your planner. There are a couple of ways to do that. If you have the split view method available to you, I'm gonna show that to you first. So I'm gonna go to my home screen by dragging up here, clicking this home button. I'm gonna open up my files app. Now I have my stickers already open here.
If you want um, a tutorial specifically just for adding digital stickers and you don't want to have to go through this tutorial every time, we do have a separate tutorial for that on our IGTV and our YouTube channel, um, how to add our Passion Planner digital stickers. Okay, so what's new about our stickers is they all come individually pre-cropped into um, PNG files, which are basically photos. So this means that you no longer have to crop them out yourself. Um, this also means that you've got like hundreds of PNG files. So we've separated them into different folders to organize them. But in order to know which folder um, the stickers are in, you could if you wanted to open every folder and go through them. But we have this preview file available for you. Now this will show you each sticker sheet in the sticker book. Okay, so let's say I wanted to use this sticker right here. Let's see, maybe this. Okay, well now it's in my third folder, my one, two, three, third folder. I can go back clicking that or this arrow here. I'll open up my sticker PNGs folder and then my third folder. And there, where is it? This is the sticker I wanted to use. Okay, so I'm gonna use split view mode. So I'm gonna click on this icon here. This will open up um, all of my apps that are open. I'm gonna tap on either of these icons, either the note shelf one or the my files one, and I'll click open in split screen view. On this side, I'm gonna open up note shelf. And then from here, I'm gonna open up the planner page I want to add my sticker into. And from here, I'm just gonna long press on this sticker and then drag it into here. So long press, drag straight into my planner. If you don't have the drag and drop feature available to you, essentially all you're, all you're doing is adding a photo into here. Um, I would still, if you have split view available, I would prefer to still have this open just because this is an easy way for me to, again, kind of just preview um, all the stickers and know where each sticker is in each folder. So in this um, window, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to my previews here. And then here, I'm gonna click on the plus symbol. Let's go to photo library. And I'm already in the folder I need to be in, but let's go back. I'll open up my sticker book folder and then open up my sticker PNGs. And let's say I wanted to use um, this sticker right here. I'll know that it's in my one, two, three, four, my fifth folder. And it's right here, so I'll just tap on it and it will add straight into my planner in Note Shelf. So to close that, I'm just gonna drag on the middle bar over here Oops. and drag it all the way to the side so it closes that. So last up, let's talk about adding planner pages into your planner. Now there are, let's see, let me navigate to the, there's blank pages in the back of your planner. You've got dot pages and grid pages. Now I like to duplicate these and add them wherever I want into my planner. Or even if you just want to add them um, just at the back of your planner, what you would do is you would tap on the pages icon. You're gonna click edit and then where did the page? Okay, let's go to this page. You're gonna click edit. You're gonna tap on whichever page you want to duplicate and then you'll click duplicate. Again, you can duplicate pages, just do not delete any of the original pages in your planner. So you may duplicate a page and then if you move the pages all around and you can't remember which is the original, you can tap on the hyperlinks that will lead you to the original page. Um, or you can bookmark the original pages just to make sure you don't delete them. So I'm gonna duplicate one page and now there are two pages with the 12 tab here. You can move these pages wherever you want. You can just drag them by holding down and then dragging them wherever you want into your planner. You can also duplicate the weekly or daily layouts as well. And that about covers everything you need to know about how to use our Passion Planner digital files in the app note shelf. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in a comment below. But if you have any specific questions regarding your device or the app, we do recommend going directly to that device or apps 
um, support page as they will be better able to help answer those questions for you there.